The state government says the troubled MyKey ticketing system will extend to Melbourne's trams and buses from this Sunday. Though the Public Transport Minister acknowledges there may be some teething problems. MyKey still doesn't work on country trains and buses. And as Josie Taylor reports, there's no guarantee it will by November's state election. One hour before transport bureaucrats were set to cop a parliamentary grilling over MyKey, the Public Transport Minister had some good news. The system is now ready for customer use on tram and bus. But after years of delays, technical problems and massively over budget, the Minister's go. pragmatic about how smooth this next step will be. There are some, uh, some bugs um, or, or issues that only emerge when you're in a live environment. MyKey won't be fully operational until it's working on country trains and coaches and there's no date for that yet. 95% of commuters still use the Met card system and that will continue working until at least next year. For the moment we'd say to people stick with Metcard and just see how it goes in the next few weeks. The opposition slammed the $1.3 billion project but won't yet say whether it will scrap the whole system if it wins government. Hey. We didn't do it. All of these decisions that have been made, we didn't do it. The government might have diffused questions over its rollout of Mikey, at least for the short term, but it faces many more over another of its bugbears, the controversial redevelopment of the Windsor Hotel. In a report, the clerk of the Upper House says the Attorney-General's order, preventing media advisers from appearing before a parliamentary inquiry, raised serious issues about the powers of the Legislative Council and its ability to hold the executive to account. The clerk writes that although Rob Hulls appears to be in contempt of Parliament, there's little that can be done about it. Josie Taylor, ABC News, Melbourne.